Years ago, horses and oxen played a major role as the power for both agriculture and industry. When the lands of North America were first settled, it was animal power that carried the pioneers through this unknown country. The power of the horse, the mule and oxen broke the land, hauled the logs from the forests and pulled the cedars, supplying the homesteaders with many of their needs. But by the end of the 19th century, there had been many developments that would in the decades following alter many of the long-standing traditions of rural and agricultural life. In comparison with the centuries of real horsepower, the evolvement of this new mechanical era saw many changes and in a short time. The steam engine, as formidable as it was, in both its weight, appearance and ability, was soon replaced by smaller tractors, and so playing a major role in farming for a moderately short period of time. But as short a time as it was, the magic of the threshing crews and these massive steel horses remains an important part of our rural history. The onset of steam power offered many options that would have been quite limited without the steady power of the pulley and the belt. In many areas, this steam power allows sawmills to run without the need of water wheels. Some of the smaller portable mills travel the countryside, working in areas of greatest need. Thrashing crews harvested the fields of grain, large plows turned over the sod and stubble, and hay presses began to take the place of the straw stacks. It was a new era in the countryside and of changing ways of farming. <laughs> 